Craig, $5,000 to be exact. That's the amount of money that Atmos Energy donated to Faith Food Pantry that you see right behind me so that they could help the people here in the Nettleton community. We work on donations entirely, and it takes about $80,000 a year to keep this place running. And co-owner of the Faith and Food Pantry, Jim Long, says the donation at most energy staff made today does not just help the pantry, but also people affected by coronavirus. He says they feed more than 800 families a month. We take food from USDA. And they require that to be at or below the poverty level. And at most energy vice president of rates and regulatory affairs, Matthew Davidson says their mission through the donation is to feed those across the state who may not be able to buy food because of the pandemic. We'll just help them continue to be able to buy food and distribute that throughout uh, Nettleton and, and the surrounding areas. Public Service Commissioner Brandon Presley says the Faith Food Pantry volunteers are a big reason those in need in the Nettleton community have something to eat. He says the grant from Atmos Energy will allow the pantry volunteers to grow in food donations. The folks at the Faith Food Pantry are very studious with every cent that comes in in a contribution and so uh, this will go to good use to help the community and to help those in need. Now, the co-owner here at Faith Food Pantry, Jim Long, also did tell me today that they are able to give at least 14 days worth of grocery in those boxes that they hand out depending on the family's size. Now, he also said that pickup days are every third Saturday of each month. He did say that in order to get those packages, you must apply first. For now, reporting live in Nettleton, Aaron Wilson, WTVA 9 News.